Hey guys, welcome to my first unboxing video. Um, I've never done one before, but I'm really looking forward to doing this one. It's going to be a food unboxing, which is very exciting. I'm a bit of a, I would consider myself to be a bit of a foodie. And um, the box that I'm going to unbox is from Bite to Savor. So it says, Bite to Savor, showcasing Northern Irish food and drink, and that's basically exactly what they do. Um, it was set up. Um, to showcase all the wonderful uh, food and drink producers that are in Northern Ireland and there are tons of them. Um, I like to try and shop local when I can so when I do go to local markets I love to pick up um, locally made jam and chocolate and nut butter, uh, scones, all those sorts of things. I love it and yes it's a little bit more expensive than your supermarket varieties but I just think it's so there's something, there's a lot to be said for supporting your local producers. If you subscribe to Bite to Savour then you get a box based on the season. So they send out a box in summer, um, in spring, in autumn and in winter. So this is the winter box. It's available from the 1st of December and I'm excited to see what's in it. Got my scissors. Okay, the moment of truth. Thing just fell out. Okay, so this is what was on top. Bite to savor. Meet the producers. Um, so it's a little welcome message from Jenna, who set up Bite to Savor, who I've met, and she's such a nice girl. Um, okay, so this um, this is different little postcard sized um, information pieces on each of the producers so we'll look at that in a little bit but that's I really like that idea because not only are you getting locally made food and drink delivered to your door but you also get to find out a bit more about the people um, who've made the items that are in your box. Okay so and then I'll show you this it's wrapped in black tissue paper with a little bite to savor sticker. Ooh, I'm excited. So okay here we go. There's plenty in it. There's a lot more in it than I thought there would be. Okay, so the first thing, I'm just going to show you each piece that I come to. Um, this is, it says Drink Me. Christmas in Belfast. Fully, full bodied Irish breakfast tea with a sprinkling of festive magic. Makes this tea perfect for any tea lover this Christmas. Okay, so I've never come across this before. I do like my tea, however, so I will definitely try this and I'm sure it'll get me in the Christmas mood. As you can see, I've started decorating for Christmas already, so I look forward to that. And we've got another similar looking product, candy cane tea. Oh my goodness, how amazing does that sound? Uh, let's see what it says. Enjoy some extra special Christmas cheer with this beautiful peppermint tea with mini candy cane sprinkles swirled into the infusion. If you've been very good this year, maybe it will be your Christmas list. Brilliant. Oh, I'm so excited. I only ever have regular tea, um, Nambari tea for me. Uh, so I've never actually really, I have had peppermint tea before, but I love the idea that there's mini candy cane sprinkles um, mixed into the mixed into it. Brilliant. Um, okay, so we've still got a good bit more to go. Next thing I come to is this little jar, winter spiced fruit chutney and um, I think it's by Muru Deli, hope I've pronounced that right and it just lists the ingredients, that's the other thing, you know there's not that many ingredients in this chutney and that's the other thing I love about buying local because you know there's not going to be any weird ingredients put in there, it's, it's made fresh you know what exactly what's went into it um, and yeah and it says here it's homemade in Belfast and then it gives allergy details and just says open once open refrigerate and use within one month so um, I'm actually not a big chutney fan it's not something I ever regularly use but I'll make an effort to try and use this during the Christmas period um, so if you have any ideas how I can use my winter spice fruit chutney do divulge. I'm thinking maybe put cheese, some cheese and some crackers and put the chutney on top of that. Okay, so the next thing, mm, this sounds not good, sugar and spice snaps, sugar and spice snaps, sugar and spice snaps, it just repeats sugar and spice snaps, 
spice, sugar and snap biscuits. And again, this is homemade in Belfast and it's little gingerbread men. That's so cute. This actually reminds me of um, the food hampers that I put together last Christmas for um, people, for my mum and dad, for Phil's mum and dad, for a few other couples. Food hampers, I just think, like this especially, are just brilliant for people you don't know what to exactly to buy for, for couples or things like that. And I actually made homemade um, shortbread in the shape of Christmas trees and this year I was actually thinking of baking my own gingerbread men so um, I could just save myself a lot of hassle and uh, subscribe them to Bite to Savor rather than do my own this year um, but uh, it's just it's it's just really cute idea love that okay next we have some Aunt Sandra's sweeties um, homemade candy chocolate and fudge made in Belfast since 1953. I am aware of Aunt Sandra's, it's quite a well-known um, sweetie shop in Northern Ireland. Um, so love that they're part of the Bite to Savour box and these look, these look to me like they're macaroon type sweets um, and they're covered in chocolate and coconut right up my street. Okay, next we have what looks to be a bar of chocolate. Cor Corbden and Brown Artisan Chocolatiers and it's white chocolate, 30% uh, cocoa solids. So uh, again I've heard of um, I've heard of this brand but I've never actually bought anything from them um, but absolutely beautiful packaging, really really luxurious looking, very artisan looking. Um, Corbden and Brown is an artisan chocolate company. We produce delicious handmade chocolate using Time honoured and honed skills, each bar is lovingly handmade by our skilled chocolatiers who are truly passionate about chocolate. That's what I like to hear. Hopefully this is like really yummy, good quality chocolate um, that I can have with um, a cup of coffee and maybe this evening I'll dig into this. Do you know what, I'm going to have a bit now actually. Let's see what this is like. I'm just going to break off a little bit here. Really nice. I could gladly polish off the whole lot. Not too sugary sweet. Mmm, it's really, really nice. Smooth and creamy. Exactly what you want your chocolate to be. So that's corked and then brown. Put that over to the side. We have one thing left. Pudding. Plum Pud, Granny Graham's Christmas Pudding. Mmm, this just makes me instantly think of Christmas. I love Christmas pudding with custard. So Granny Graham's Christmas Pudding, the ingredients are butter, sugar, sultanas, bread, eggs, buttermilk, raisins, dates, cherries, flour, brandy, orange, lemon, spices. Yum. Um, and then it just gives you um, instructions as to how to heat it all up. And this is made in County Down, Northern Ireland. Brilliant. Again, I haven't heard of this um, of this food producer before. And um, this is the great thing about, I suppose, a subscription box. I'm uh, finding out even more about the producers that are local to me. Um, I think I might indulge in this. I'll maybe share it with Phil. Um, maybe next weekend we'll, we'll dig into this plum food. So that's all the items. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven items were in that box and I think that box would be 20 pounds. So looking at all those seven products, I think my favourite probably is the one that I tasted. It's the white chocolate by Corbin and Brown. So I'll look in here and find out a wee bit more about these chocolatiers. Corbin and Brown is a small Lurgan based company that specialises in delicious couverture chocolate. Hmm. Company owner Caroline McArdle always had a passion for chocolate, but it was her son's diagnosis of celiac disease and an egg intolerance that provided the real inspiration behind her business and its ethos. Cobden and Brown believe that no one should have to compromise on taste and flavour regardless of diet. Caroline started from scratch, making her delicious wheat and gluten-free and gluten chocolate to sell at farmers markets throughout Ireland, but it wasn't long before independent shops started to inquire and Cobden and Brown hit the shelves. 
Corbton and Brown is made using only the finest ingredients, making it distinctly smooth and rich and so scrumptious it has been awarded gold stars at the Great Taste Awards. Brilliant. So that that's just a nice little story to hear and I love hearing whenever I do good affairs and um, you know, buy something from a food producer or even just, a, you know, a craft maker. I love to hear their story, how they started up and um, why they do what they do and, you know, the passion that drives them. It's always so interesting. I think this, this subscription box is available from the 1st of December and it's their winter box. And I think you can subscribe and just get the one box or else you can subscribe yearly um, at the cost of £115 and you get seasonal boxes delivered straight to your door. Um, and I think they also do... Bite Saver also offer one-off boxes such as Tea Lovers, uh, tea lovers box which I really like the idea of. So they're just brilliant um, ideas for presents, for Christmas, for birthdays um, or even a present for yourself if you love your food and drink and you want to support local. So I'm going to go and polish off the rest of this chocolate. Thank you. Bye.